Hey everybody, uh, it's Christometric here from the Dems World, and one of the things that I seem to keep going back to is the scroll saw. I used to use it quite a bit, and then I kind of got away from it, but it's kind of coming back a little bit, so I kind of thought, well, I would make a cool plaque or platter. So my idea is I want to make um, uh, a tree plaque. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out a tree, uh, and then I'm going to scroll saw out the negative spaces. And Well, anyways, let's show you what I'm going to do. Let's get a tree drawn out first, um, and uh, we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this real basic, basic drawing and I'll go to Photoshop and what I'll do is, is I'll scan this on the computer and then I'll refine those lines and well let me show you what I, what I get once I do all of that. This is what I came up with. What I'm going to plan to do is cut out the black areas and then I'll leave a border around the edges and then mount that to either a uh, darker piece of wood, but let's start with getting a board that's this wide. I don't have anything that's thin that this is wide, so I think I'm going to join two together. Let's do that. So one of these needs to be this, and now what I will do is, yeah, I'll spray mount my tree to this. But anyways, next part, spray it, drill out my holes, and start with a scroll saw. So in order for it to slide smoothly on the, uh, the bed of the scroll saw. Alright, she's ready to go. I'm ready to start taking out all of the, uh, the black areas or the, the negative spaces. Okay, so now I've got all of the uh, branches cut out, and all that's left is this larger spot, which that I've been waiting for. I think that'll be the fun part. That'll really bring it to life. It's done. Let's take a better look at it. Okay, so I got everything off of there, and I think it looks pretty interesting. I'm definitely going to put something behind it. One of the things that I found that works well for me is I got a shipment out the other day, and it came with this piece of foam. So I seem to, it works perfect for a uh, to stabilize whatever I'm sanding. So let's throw it on the foam. Not too bad, not too bad. So I can't decide whether I want to use a Danish oil with a cherry finish or just a boiled linseed oil. Those are two of my favorite you know, finishes you know, or a spray lacquer. So I got this little scrap piece here and I'm going to just do a little test run and, and see what we like here. So, I think the boiled linseed oil is a winner. Ultimately, I think this was the right choice. It brought off the natural color of the oak. Alright, so now we're going to finish it up and I have it all completed and I think it looks pretty good. As a matter of fact, as I'm looking at here, the wood grain makes it look like the bark of a tree, so I think that came out pretty good. Now my intention was just to take this piece of uh, particle board and back it to it, and then I'm going to frame it out. But, I, you know, I was going to paint this black so there would be contrast, but it kind of darkens the whole thing down. So I got a stack of all my different origami paper to see what would you know, what would look interesting. Uh, there's so many choices here, that one's a little too busy. And just 
started going through them, and you know, I kind of like this one a lot. This one's kind of interesting. But again, that still seems a little busy. So ultimately, this was my choice that I made. Was I have this one piece here that's a gradient pattern. And I'm thinking, oh, actually, that'll work out neat because if I put it in like this, it's kind of darker and then blue and it looks like sky almost. So I think this will work out perfectly. Just need to cut it to size. Then we're going to end up putting this down, this down. Gonna look pretty good. Perfect. Trim it out. Left, right, top and bottom. I don't want to leave that raw wood. Uh, the uh, sand accumulator, the CA glue would work just as well. You can use wood glue, that should work just as well. All right, and look at that. It looks pretty good, I think. Uh, I think it was a good choice in the back to have that gradient pattern. And now all I need to do is put a little picture hanger on the back of it, and she's good to go. All right, let's hang it on the wall. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But there we go. Took a final photo, and I guess I appreciate you spending the time with me while I make this cool tree scroll saw wall decoration.